Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, whenever you are watching this. Uh, GAC 3v3 time. This is a uh, week, this is the third round of the third week of the fourth season of GACs. We could probably stop seeing the seasons. It's the, it's the third week, uh, third round of uh, 3v3. Got one more round, uh, one more week after this. I'm going against Torrid Zone 17. Now, so he went last night. Um, I think he did. He cleared, cleared all this. He one-shotted that whole corner. Didn't even attempt my uh, my hard zone, and then burnt the remaining capital fleets against my Akbar. So that that's odd. So I don't know if he just gave up there. But that tells me if he if he didn't didn't even attempt my bottom zone, he's probably got something heavy defense in this in this back zone back here so i might not even i might just disregard these i'll come back to them if i got stuff left so gas newt with an r7 django that that one's gonna be scary that's gonna hit so hard uh, jedi knight revan and darth revan we're gonna darth revan team all relic seven that's nuts so i, I might have to just skip that zone completely guys if i want to get the win So here's what we're looking at down here. Obviously this is meant to take out my Treya. Let's check out what was a Spy. Spy is non-relic. Okay. So we are just going to use this. Could probably underman it since Spy is unrelic, but we won't. We'll play it safe. I want the win. Um, my goal always every round is to get two wins. Um, since Spy is not relic, I am going to pull that down. He's probably going to counterattack you, buddy. Hurt yourselves. Break yourselves upon me. Break yourselves upon my back. 51. Okay, so this Kiratine can actually be a pain in the butt. With the, let's see how his nest is modded. Speed. Modded for speed. And crit chance. Crit chance almost 100%. And L3. And a relic for L3. Modded for speed. I guess it makes sense. You want to get just a whole bunch of turns, right? Hmm. Only what? Well, yeah, only 63 and 63 health protection. So I might have to Jedi and I rev in that, actually. R7, oof, an R7 droidica. That is scary. That is really scary. So usually I have Padme Grievous. Oof. Oof. Okay, yeah, this guy's heavy defense. Something tells me his back zone's going to be heavy defense, too. See how his droidica's modded. Speed. Oh man, this guy's 235. So this guy's good. This guy's really good. Okay. Well. So this guy's pure defense. Da -da 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 -da. It's Padme and see how it goes. Yeah, look at that. Their droidica's up and running already. Let's get this protection up as soon as possible. Let's get that pulled off of droidica right now. Let's see if we can get droidica out of here right now. There we go. Okay, good. Now I'm not so worried. Let's get some more protection up on the field. We 
Yeah, that R7 Juridica was nasty. Good. Well, there goes my uh, Darth Revan killer. Um, normally, you'd burn the cooldowns, then go in and clean up with this team. At least get to the point where Malak is left standing. So Malak's gonna that Darth Revan team's gonna stay standing. Sorry guys, if it's gonna be boring. So uh, what was that? R seven nest R four, yeah. Now do I just go and get Kira out right away? Or do I get L3 out right away? Let's just do Kira. Then we'll work on L3. We'll avoid Nest for now. Oh crap, you you dazed my Yoda. Gee, thanks. Since it's a non-tenacity Nest, I know I'm going to be able to... Uh, work through her health pool the Genite Revan team fairly easy so not too concerned if it was a really high tenacity nest I know I've seen people time out now let's see if I can stall get all my health and protection back this should get some protection back Stall, stall, stall. Ah, crap, Jolie. All right, that's okay. Okay, let's see what's in the back zone. Oh, Poggle team. I got burned by a Poggle team before. So I need not even 100 points. I need 80 points-ish. It'd be funny if this guy just did this, and then he's just sitting, and uh, he'll come after me in a bit. So I gotta be cognizant of that. So Jedi Knight Revan, Revan, what else is up here that I can kill? That Newt, I can kill with CLS, so I can probably save CLS for that. So down here, I got to get creative. Ooh, this is the same team that kicked my butt before, too. The Poggle uh, B2, B1 combo. Don't want to sleep on that Stormtrooper Han. Although, yeah, yeah, what am I saying? You can sleep on it. Um, What was that? Let's take a better look at their Bosk. R4 Bosk, built for damage, not tenacity. Okay. This is going to be the elephant in the room right here, though. This B, uh, B2 squad. No Night Sisters that I can use my uh, Jedi Trading Ray on. Okay, well, let's do this gear 11 team. What do I want to use? Pick on. I need some first order. First order should do. I'll just stun you. But 
Bye. Hey, 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 now. Don't be doing stupid things like that. Go away. I'll stun you again. Waka wow, waka wow. What does this do? It just dispels and then grants bonus turns. <coughs> well, we'll pass it over to uh, our buddy the executioner then. Poggle lead, Poggle and Bosk. How fast is their B1? Ooh, looks like he's gonna be fast. 306. 306. So I want something with a crap load of counter attacks. I tried using my <laughs> I tried using my Ezra. I was just thinking Ezra Bastila um shot or um what's her name? Ayla. But that's the team that I I, you know, screwed up before. What actually worked against this team before? I could use Shock T, maybe? Trick's gonna be, trick is you gotta burn B1 down fast. How potent is that B2? Potency, where is it? 58%, so he's not very potent. Not a very potent B2. I could just use the, the CLS Rebels and that would counterattack this to death. I used CLS R2 Old Ben before, was what did it. New voicemail, don't know who was calling me. Who else can I use that assists? Hmm. Well, I want to Wampa something. Let's Wampa this boss team. Although, since I could probably get away with, um, yeah. Let's not get away with anything. I wonder if that would work. No, because Wampus is going to assist, but there's... Yeah, that's not going to... Huh? Maybe that would work against that... That squad. If I could take out B2. No. No, no, no. Probably don't really have to worry. I got a lot of teams I could work with to burn through this zone. I'm just like overthinking everything. Parallelization by analyzation, right? I think that's the term people are using or do use. You want to get ramped up there, bosky boy? Let's give us some protection back. Come on, heal up. See if we can stall. Stall, stall, stall. Stall, stall, stall. Protection, protection. Stall, stall, stall. Okay, this move doesn't hurt as much. Stall, stall, stall. I don't think I'm going to get protection back, though. On my Watt. Yeah, this is going to kill him. I love Watt Wampa. Okay. So, thermal detonators, yada, 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 all that good stuff.
fast is she not fast so I can come right after you I want to use my Bastila Ayla I just like using that team for some reason Cad Bane can actually put on some thermal detonators. I remember why I'm trying to get rid of them because thermal detonators go to health, right? I don't want to be losing banners. Here we go, 54. Ayla stun for the win. Okay, there's the lead. He's got so much for offense, though. So much for offense. Yeah, CLS Hanchu would make short work of that newt team, but I'm gonna need it. Let's roll some of this up. We got lot lots of guns left. Lots of guns left. I don't know if... I wonder if Nest could solo it. Like, there's no... big hits. Nest could just keep on countering. B1 until B1's dead. No stuns. It's buff immunity, but no healing immunity. Target lock. Let's try that route. Should be able to work on B. Let's just try it. Let's see, right? Should just be able to pick away on B1 until he's dead and then work over to B2. <clears throat> just in case we're going to run out of time, let's just target B1 right now. Put it on auto. Go, go, power nasty. Yeah, the counterattacks. Counterattacks are what you need to get through this, for sure. And then once I get B1 out of here, maybe, well, I guess I was going to say I could try to stall and get protection back with Hermit Yoda, but these guys should be doing that on their own. Regardless. I might lose my Hermit Yoda. Yeah, poor Hermit Yoda. Yep, oh well. That worked like a charm, though. Worked like a charm. And I know down here, this stall team, I could have just used... Nihilus by himself. I should have probably tried that instead of being instead of worrying about it. Okay, so there's that. Now, again, I think he's probably waiting on me. It's got so much for offense. Obviously, we're gonna go to the trio. Uh, he 
got off. Well, I knew he was fast. Now Django's gonna hit so freaking hard. Damage immunity. I need Chewie to Chewie to go. He's gonna kill my Han here. Watch this. I wonder if this can actually still stun him. Nope, doesn't. Yeah. Okay, well. Let's see if I can kill him before I die. Gotta kill him twice. Don't want to give him some speed. Wow. Yeah, it's a good team. It requires CLS. Whoa, there are no Zetas on his gas. Huh. Zero Zetas. Uh, that is surprising. What do I got that's high damage? Well, I got mine. Let's try gas on gas violence. Gas on gas violence. Yes, Echo, you are going to be the, the man here. There we go. Can I get him before he stands up? Or I sit down? Yep, I did. Okay. So now, let's take a look at this. A lot of people say use the command, so obviously that's not going to do much right so it just deals physical damage to the target and then the the if the blaster is present then it shoots right but this deals physical damage to the target enemy and if they had no buffs it deals more damage i'll slow it down and see what kind of damage the basic does ha eight thousand okay never mind use command fifty two I will take it. And now I'm stuck. I'm stuck. And hopefully he gets stuck. But I somehow think I'm going to come back to this later, guys. And I am. He is going to have kicked my butt. What can we use? Whoa, Relic 7. Generate Revan as well. Like, like, come on, that's, that's not even fair. How fast is his Generator Revan? 277. So not the fastest Generator Revan. How fast is his Darth Revan? 313. Huh? Not, not really that fast either. If I would have held my Darth Revan, I could have killed his. How fast is his Bastila, though? Yeah, 275. So fairly slow. I guess that's why he put it on defense, because I'm faster than him. You know, now that I've given up my gas and my Padme, I'm not getting through that Darth Revan team. But we can just dick around with the Jedi Knight Revan team. I'm probably not going to beat it either, but we'll try some stuff. Problem is, if I lose Shock T here, then it's, it's over. Yeah. You know, she's the one that ramps up all your clones, right? She keeps passing the uh, 
crit damage increases over to Sergeant, and she's the healer, so this isn't going anywhere. Not thinking I got anything to take that team out. Let's try. Let's try something. Who you gonna mark? Well, you don't have, shouldn't have markup. Ah, uh, yeah, do have markup, you bastard! I should have burnt that. I guess I, I forfeited, right? So there should there be no. Uh... So you would have started with mark. Well, really, no stuns. No stuns. You're not going to stun anybody there, Palpy. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, it's a lost cause. All right, well, when you put down both Ravens, <clears throat> kind of limits my options, and a Grievous, and a Nest, but we'll see if that's enough. We'll, I'll come back later and show you guys the result. Until then, well, I'll see you guys in a few seconds, actually, so hold on to your, <clears throat> hold on to your hats. And ladies and gentlemen, the conclusion you've been waiting for, for what, three seconds? All right, so it's over now. I did get the win. Um, it's in review phase right now. So he did go, he did go again uh, when there was about an hour, two hours left. And he gave her a go. But uh, couldn't budge him any more than that. So that's the win. I am four and two out of the previous six no no that's not it four two no we've had nine matches so i am six and three six and three i've i've lost one in every bracket or every grouping so six and three that's all right uh, i don't mind it as long as i get two wins per per week i'm happy it gives me uh enough mats to 60 another mod and a zeta and uh, it's just at least it's over 50 50 win rate so that's what i always shoot for so there it is guys let's go on to week four let's get this shit over with <laughs> and get back to regular gacs till next time cheers guys